eyes closed. We have plenty of prayers to pray in a few minutes. Listen and listen very carefully. If you pray these prayers and you lose your voice, but you obtain the breakthrough embedded in the prayers, you have made a good bargain. If you are here this evening or you are connected to this program, anytime you want to move forward, anytime you want to move forward, a force resists you and say this is how far you can go you can't go further nobody has ever gone further in your family so you cannot go further if you are in that category make sure you don't miss any of these heaven touching prayers in case you are here too it seems as if all roads are blocked when some roads open whatever you make out of it is exhausted very quickly before problem moves in again it's a night to lose your temper as you pray in case you are here this evening you know that you are under witchcraft attack nobody needs to tell you you know that one sometimes you feel arrows entering into your body sometimes you feel that something is going wrong this is not a night to joke this is not a night to negotiate this is not a night to care what happens to the enemy these are prayers that touches the third heaven can you shout the first one loud and clear like this say help from above help from abroad help from around can you shout for help in those three places let's go your voice is not loud enough yes overshadow my Lord in the name of Jesus yes you must not negotiate name we pray uh -huh. see what is happening that's first one see what is happening you have asked for help from above help from abroad and help from around to overshadow your life you now need to aggressively demand it now with a voice that roars like thunder you will shout that prayer again help from above Abroad, help from around. Oh my shadow, my life. In the name of Jesus. name we pray as we pray this next prayer if you are that person listen to me your grandfather cursed you please find a way to this altar and be on your knees pray the way you've never prayed before you can remember your grandfather issued curses on you find a way to this altar Say every fear, every fear. Slow 
going down my life. Can you say that loud and clear? In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus name we pray if you are a student here pray like a violent prophet everybody shout this loud and clear my light hear the word of the Lord our lives are in shine in the name Jesus open your mouth and decree it it is a decree it's a decree them who pray say this after me say oh God arise smite my waters and let the door that has never opened to me in my life open by fire oh God arise smite my waters let the doors that have never opened to me in my life open to me by fire in the name of Jesus command the Lord to smite your waters thank you Jesus Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Don't say this does not concern me. Every magical power that has held me captive can you shout out loud? Make it louder than that. Break! In the name of Jesus. Break the power. Break the power. Yes. name we pray can you shout this loud say serpents of the Lord shout it louder let your voice be louder swallow every serpent in my life in the name of Jesus Serpents of the Lord Swallow every serpent in my life In the name of Jesus Thank you Jesus Thank you Jesus 
thank you Jesus in Jesus name we pray anything representing me in any coven can you shout that loud catch fire in the name of Jesus anything represent me in any coven command you to catch fire catch fire catch fire thank you Jesus Jesus name we pray this next prayer should be prayed three hot times after three hot times of praying it I require that you become silent so that the Holy Ghost will do his, his work say Holy Ghost make my miracles happen whether it wants to happen or not can you say that and let me hear you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus open your mouth begin to pray whether it wants to happen or not Holy Ghost make my miracles happen in Jesus name we pray open your mouth and pray it again In Jesus' name we pray. Open your mouth and pray it a third time. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray lay your hands upon your head and be silent yes any sickness assigned to lead to death at the count of seven jump out of your hiding place because that place is not your hiding place it's not your tabernacle one They must get out of their hiding place. Thank you, Jesus. Silent. Why the Holy Ghost is doing wondrous works in the life of people fire is burning in the right leg to remove the plantation of darkness therein fire is burning the womb to remove the plantation of darkness therein fire is burning in the head to remove the serpent moving therein Thank you, Jesus. Lay your right hand on your head. Everybody, particularly if you're a student, 
Shout this loud and clear. Pass! Assigned to defeat my brain. You are a liar. Die! In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. All eyes closed. If you are in this meeting, you just discover that sometimes it's as if your brain becomes empty. Find it difficult to remember things as if there is an attack on that head. Find a way to this altar very quickly. Find your way to this altar very quickly. As everybody will shout this again loud and clear. Holy God! Destroy the expectation of my enemies. In the name of Jesus. Destroy the expectation of the enemy. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Witchcraft embargo. Place on my rising and shining. In the name of Jesus. Put your mouth up, put your mouth up, put your mouth up, put your mouth. Witchcraft embargo place on my shining horizon. Die in the name of Jesus. Thank you, 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 Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Anyone that will not eat or drink. Anyone that will not eat or drink. In order to attack me. Catch fire. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Lay your right hand on your head and one hand close to your belly button and shout this loud and clear. Surgeons of heaven, I am available. Touch me now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus. 
Jesus name we pray Father Amen bring out your oil now if you have them here remember every day this month you must anoint yourself and anoint your street with oil Father we commit this oil unto your holy hands let the sanctifying power of the Holy Ghost fall upon it in the name of Jesus let this oil become the oil of protection the oil of immunity the oil of power the oil of strength the oil of glory let this oil destroy every environmental witchcraft in the name of Jesus let this oil form a shield of protection around God's children in the name of Jesus Thank you, Heavenly Father. Your manna water now. Father, we commit our water unto your holy hands. Father, sanctify the water. Consecrate the water. Bless this water. Let the water carry the fire of God. Let it carry the anointing of fire. Let it carry the power of healing. The power of breakthrough the power of fire to demolish and destroy every plantation of darkness in the name of Jesus use this water to demolish every sickness use it to destroy every plantation of the enemy let the anointing of ease enter into the water to you father be the glory in Jesus mighty name we pray put the water down and lay your right hand upon your head now and let your amen roar like fire and like thunder as I pray. Make sure your amen is the loudest here. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. As many as I lay their hands on their heads now. Right there where you are anything representing you in the marine kingdom anything representing you on the altars of the queen of the coast anything representing you in any coven I set them a blaze in the name of Jesus I set them a blaze in the name of Jesus I set them a blaze in the name of Jesus right there where you are power that will change your life power that will defeat your problems power that will heal every sickness power that will bring you uncommon breakthroughs receive that power now in the name of Jesus receive it 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 louder 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 receive it receive it receive it receive it receive it, receive it, receive it, yes sir, receive it, with fire, with fire, with fire, with fire, in the name of Jesus. Every power that does not want to let you go, I command them to be arrested now, be arrested, be arrested, be arrested. Be arrested, 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 be arrested in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Lord blesses us from Zion. And pray these prayers without apology. Pray them like a mad prophet. Pray them like a man or woman from another world. Don't negotiate with the enemy. Immediately you open your mouth and begin to pray these prayers. The power of God will begin to move upon you wherever you are. The power of God will begin to move upon anyone who has joined this program and you are praying. Pray with fire and with power. Pray without any compromise. Pray with the spirit of enough is enough. 
Can you shout this loud and clear? Any conscious or unconscious poison of darkness in my body? Any conscious or unconscious poison of darkness in my body? Come out by fire in the name of Jesus. Any conscious or unconscious poison of darkness in my body? Come out by fire in the name of Jesus. Any conscious or unconscious poison of darkness in my body? Come out by fire in the name of Jesus. Any conscious or unconscious poison of darkness in my body? Come out by fire in the name of Jesus. Any conscious or unconscious poison of darkness in my body? Come out by fire in the name of Jesus. Any conscious or unconscious poison of darkness in my body? Come out by fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Right there where you are, as you are pronouncing your mouth, right from the top of your head to the sole of your feet, any poison of darkness, whether you know about it or you don't know about it, that is in your body, I command you to, to vomit them. Cough them out. Vomit them. Cough them out. Vomit them. Cough them out. They must depart from your body. In the name of Jesus. See, the power of God is coming upon you. From the top of your head to the sole of your feet. And every yoke of this poison is removed now. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and shout this louder than the first one. Every arrow of darkness fired into my body. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of darkness fired into my body. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of darkness fired into my body. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of darkness fired into my body. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of darkness fired into my body. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of darkness fired into my body. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of darkness fired into my body. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of darkness fired into my body. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of darkness fired into my body. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of darkness fired into my body. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of darkness fired into my body. Backfire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You the arrow of paralysis. The arrow of darkness of the eyes. The arrow of palpitation of the heart. You the arrows of serpent moving about in the body. You the arrows of fibrous in the womb. You the arrows of lumps in the body, evil lumps in the body. You the arrows of high blood pressure. You the arrows of diabetes. Hear the word of the Lord. Get out of that life in the name of Jesus. Get out of that life in the name of Jesus. Get out of that life in the name of Jesus. Come out through the mouth, through the nose. Come out. Depart in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shout this loud and clear. Let your voice be the loudest. Eh? Power to be constantly in good health. Eh? Fall upon me in the name of Jesus. Power to be constantly in good health. Eh? Fall upon me in the name of Jesus. Power to be constantly in good health. Eh? Fall upon me in the name of Jesus. Power to be constantly in good health. Eh? Fall upon me in the name of Jesus. Power to be constantly in good health. Eh? Fall upon me in the name of Jesus. Power to be constantly in good health. Eh? Fall upon me in the name of Jesus. Power to be constantly in good health. Fall upon me in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This prayer, lay your hands upon your head and pray it loud and clear. Say, I charge my body with the fire of the Holy Ghost. I charge my body with the fire of the Holy Ghost. Therefore, you strangers, Come out in the name of Jesus. I charge my body with the fire of the Holy Ghost. Therefore, you strangers, come out in the name of Jesus. I charge my body with the fire of the Holy Ghost. Therefore, you strangers, come out now in the name of Jesus. I charge my body with the fire of the Holy Ghost. Therefore, you strangers, come out now in the name of Jesus. Come out now in the name of Jesus. Come out now in the name of Jesus. Continue to pray. Continue to pray. Continue to pray that prayer. I charge my body. With the fire of the Holy Ghost. Therefore, you strangers, come out now in the name of Jesus. Continue to pray. Continue to pray. It is written that the strangers shall fade away. And they shall be afraid out of their close places. As many as are praying now, you strangers, depart, 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 depart in the name of Jesus. Depart in the name of Jesus. That place where you are is not your habitation. You have no right to be there. Come out, come out, come out, come out, depart in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say this loud and clear. Thou great physician, visit me now in the name of Jesus. Thou great physician, visit me now in the name of Jesus. 
Thou great physician, visit me now in the name of Jesus. Thou great physician, visit me now in the name of Jesus. Thou great physician, visit me now in the name of Jesus. Thou great physician, visit me now in the name of Jesus. Thou great physician, visit me now in the name of Jesus. Thou great physician, visit me now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, O oh God, arise. Save me and I shall be saved. Heal me and I shall be healed, for thou art my praise. O oh God, arise. Save me and I shall be saved. Heal me and I shall be healed, for thou art my praise. O oh God, arise. Save me and I shall be saved. Heal me and I shall be healed, for thou art my praise. O oh God, arise. Save me and I shall be saved. Heal me and I shall be healed, for thou art my praise. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say so anything I've eaten or swallowed that is troubling my body, come out in the name of Jesus. Anything I've eaten or swallowed that is troubling my body, come out now in the name of Jesus. Anything I've eaten or swallowed that is troubling my body, come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. Everything I've eaten or swallowed that is troubling my body, come out in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say disease and infirmity. Hear the word of the Lord. My body is not your candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. Disease and infirmity. Hear the word of the Lord. My body is not your candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. Disease and infirmity. Hear the word of the Lord. My body is not your candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. Disease and infirmity. Hear the word of the Lord. My body is not your candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. Disease and infirmity. Hear the word of the Lord. My body is not your candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. Disease and infirmity. Hear the word of the Lord. My body is not your candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. Disease and infirmity. Hear the word of the Lord. My body is not your candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I break every curse and covenant of infirmity. In the name of Jesus. I break every curse and covenant of infirmity. In the name of Jesus. I break every curse and covenant of infirmity. In the name of Jesus. I break every curse and covenant of infirmity. In the name of Jesus. I break every curse and covenant of infirmity. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I decree by the decree of heaven that every curse of infirmity must be broken in the name of Jesus. Any curse of infirmity working against our brother, any curse of infirmity working against our sister, be broken, 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 be broken. Every covenant of infirmity working against our brother, every covenant of infirmity working against our sister, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken. In the name of Jesus, a sevenfold amen, 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 amen. Amen. Can you now shout this loud and clear? Make sure your voice is the loudest where you are. Wasters of good health. I am not your candidate. Depart in the name of Jesus. Wasters of good health. I am not your candidate. Depart in the name of Jesus. Depart in the name of Jesus. Depart in the name of Jesus. Wasters of good health. I am not your candidate. Depart in the name of Jesus. Wasters of good health. I'm not your candidate. Depart in the name of Jesus. Wasters of good health. I'm not your candidate. Depart in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Father, we thank you for another garden that the great physician hour. Thank you, Lord, because it is written that in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. All things were made by him. Without him was nothing made that was made. Father, we thank you because you have promised that oppression shall be far away from your children. Father, everyone who is connected to this program, let them be candidate of mighty testimonies in the name of Jesus. Let them have testimonies that will shock their friends and surprise their enemies in the name of Jesus. Let the deliverance power of God begin to operate now. Let the healing power of God begin to operate now. Receive your healing. Receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus. 
thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Listen to this message very carefully. It is called From Deceleration to Acceleration. From Deceleration to Acceleration. In Psalm 84, verse 7. Psalm 84, verse 7. They go from strength to strength. Every one of them in Zion appeared before God. They go from strength to strength. The Lord wants us to go from strength to strength, not from weakness to weakness. What does it mean to decide? To decide is to slow down the rate of advancement. That is what deceleration means. There is a power to accelerate. There is a power to decelerate. To accelerate is to catch up and pass. To accelerate is to outdo. To accelerate is to rise above. To accelerate is to move ahead in achievement. To accelerate is to have the upper hand or to outshine others. This is what it means. When the power of divine acceleration comes upon a man, a lot of things will happen to that person. But when the person does not have that power of acceleration, a lot of things then go wrong and deceleration takes place. There is something called deceleration dreams. The first thing to notice when attack of deceleration starts are those dreams. Number one, dreams of going back to old school, dreams of going back to old house, dreams of seeing dead relatives, dreams of wearing old clothes, Dreams of going back to the place of birth. Dreams of playing around with friends of youth which you have not seen for years. Dreams of climbing a mountain and getting to nowhere. Dreams of being in a steering-less vehicle. Dreams of being in a driver-less vehicle. Dreams of being lost in a forest or wilderness. Dreams of seeing yourself always in the same spot or inside the same building. Dreams of being held down by overpowering powerful forces. Dreams of taking exams you already know you had passed in the physical. Dreams of going back to old schools and sitting on old chairs that used to sit one when one was younger. Dreams of always going back to the old family house. Always going back to the old family house. Dreams of always going back to the houses one lived in the past. Dreams of going back to where one was an apprentice or where one studied before. Dreams of seeing oneself back in the secondary school university you passed through with students you studied with. Dreams of corpses, coffins, or attending funeral services. Dreams of being handcuffed or chained. Dreams of walking barefootedly. Dreams of ear remover. All these are deceleration dreams. I pray. That every power of deceleration shall be put to shame in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. There is a power called the power of divine acceleration. What is that divine acceleration? It's for the Almighty God to give you speed to run and not be weary, to walk and not faint. It is God's hands coming upon you to outrun those who are ahead of you. It is God's leading coming upon you to set the standards. It is God's hands of power coming upon you to raise the bar with what has not been done before. It is divine advancement. It is divine fast forwarding. It is for you to be connected to divine courier service. That is divine acceleration. It's fast tracking your journey in life. It's supernatural lifting up. Divine acceleration is getting ahead of your colleagues. It's you becoming a pace setter. It's you overtaking your colleagues and competitors in the race of life. It's you walking while others are crawling and running while others are walking. It's you flying while others are running. It's you enjoying extraordinary speed. It's God giving you rapid progress, catapulting you from the back to the front. It's enjoying divine speed. The arm that came upon Elijah that increased his speed so that he ran 30 miles ahead of the chariot of Ahab. That is the hand of divine acceleration. The hand that came upon Elijah 
is that and that brings divine acceleration. Divine acceleration is increasing speed through God's power. It is speedy progress. It is hasting steps towards your destiny enabled by God. May the Lord arise and accelerate your journey in the name of Jesus. When you enjoy divine acceleration, what took others 30 years will take you 2 years. When that injection of divine acceleration enters into your body, you don't struggle where others are struggling. You do not suffer satanic delay. Your efforts are not aborted. There is no problem with breaking down at the point of breakthroughs. Setbacks are buried. And power of major setbacks are reversed when you encounter divine acceleration. There are some powers that specialize in turning hero to zero, in turning celebrity to nonentity, in turning pastors to parrots. There are powers that specialize in this. But thank God. There is an anointing called the anointing of divine acceleration, which can move a man from deceleration to acceleration. And to encounter that anointing means God to restore your wasted years. Did Elijah with his legs not overtake Kerabu was on a horse? It means that God will make you to overtake smarter and wiser people. And then the despised shall become the celebration, the last shall become the first, the servant shall become the master. The poor shall become the performer. The zero man shall become the hero. Then the anonymous and unknown shall become the anointed. This is the situation when you key yourself into the power of divine acceleration. The Bible says they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. To encounter divine acceleration, number one, you need to become a friend of God. Number two, you need to repent from every known sin. Number three, you need to be desperately uneasy with your current position. You need the spirit of divine dissatisfaction. You need to be able to cry out, I am divinely dissatisfied. And I want to move to the next level. May the Lord lay his hands upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. May that spirit of divine acceleration come upon you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May the Lord arise for your sake in every area in the name of Jesus. God bless you in Jesus' name. In case you are in this program, you have not yet surrendered your life to Jesus, you have an opportunity to do so now by saying what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, Come into my life. Take control of my life. As from now, I say bye-bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of light. In Jesus' name, amen. I thank you for your children who have joined this program. Meet each and everyone at the point of their needs. Do great, marvelous, wondrous, outstanding things in their lives in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 I thank God for those of you who surrender your life to Jesus Christ in this program. God bless you in Jesus' name. You've taken the most important decision in life, and I rejoice with you. For more information, counseling, and prayers, kindly send your name, your address, your telephone number to the WhatsApp number displayed on the screen. You can also send us an email. The email address is also displayed on the screen. And we shall be getting across to you shortly. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. You will pray like this. And pray with fire and with power. There are seven prayers to pray now. As these prayers go on, those who have been having trouble with evil family patterns, you will feel fire flowing through your body. And you shall be delivered. Those whose names are on evil altars. There are altars calling your name. You feel sensations in your body and you'll be delivered. Those whose virtues have been transferred to the camp of the enemy. You feel the vibration of the Holy Ghost in your body. And whatever virtue that has been stolen from you shall come rushing back to you. 
those who have been made to undergo witchcraft burial. They are just moving about, but your physical body is actually buried. You will see the fire of God flowing through your body, and you will be instantly delivered. Those who are suffering from witchcraft-sponsored infirmities, as these prayers are going on, you may feel uncomfortable, don't worry, just continue the prayers. You may be sweating, don't worry, just continue the prayers. You may feel dizzy, sit down, just continue the prayers. This is why I've instructed that when this prayer starts, clear anything with sharp edges away from where you are praying or sit down somewhere, because you may fall down. Those whose dream life is a battlefield, as these prayers are going on, they'll be delivered. Those who have bad clinical prophecy against them, bad medical reports, they'll be instantly delivered as they pray these prayers. Those who have been tormented by chains of untimely death, they'll be delivered as they pray these prayers. So let your voice be the loudest while you are praying. And this is not a time to negotiate. Can you shout this loud and clear? Powers, torturing me because of my glory. Lion of Judah, tear them up. In the name of Jesus, powers torturing me because of my glory. Lion of Judah, tear them up in the name of Jesus. Powers torturing me because of my glory. Lion of Judah, tear them up in the name of Jesus. Powers torturing me because of my glory. Lion of Judah, tear them up in the name of Jesus. Powers torturing me because of my glory. Lion of Judah, tear them up in the name of Jesus. Powers torturing me because of my glory. Lion of Judah, tear them up in the name of Jesus. Powers torturing me because of my glory. Lion of Judah, tear them up in the name of Jesus. Power torturing me because of my glory. Lion of Judah, tear them up in the name of Jesus. Power torturing me because of my glory. Lion of Judah, tear them up in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so environmental Pharaoh. Environmental Goliath. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Environmental Pharaoh. Environmental Goliath. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Environmental Pharaoh. Environmental Goliath. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Environmental Pharaoh. Environmental Goliath. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Environmental Pharaoh. Environmental Goliath. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Environmental Pharaoh. Environmental Goliath. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Environmental Pharaoh. Environmental Goliath. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Environmental Pharaoh. Environmental Goliath. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Pray this with boiling anger. Satanic carpenters. Building coffins for me. Enter into your coffins and die in the name of Jesus. Satanic carpenters. Building coffins for me. Enter into your coffin and die in the name of Jesus. Satanic carpenters. Building coffin for me. Enter into your coffin and die in the name of Jesus. Satanic carpenters. Building coffin for me. Enter into your coffin and die in the name of Jesus. Satanic carpenters. Building coffin for me. Enter into your coffins and die in the name of Jesus. Satanic carpenters. Building coffins for me. Enter into your coffins and die in the name of Jesus. Enter into your coffins and die in the name of Jesus. Enter into your coffins and die in the name of Jesus. Satanic carpenters. Building coffin for me. Enter into your coffins and die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Tell this loud. Say, powers assigned to quench my life. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to quench my life. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to quench my life. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to quench my life. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to quench my life. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to quench my life. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to quench my life. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to quench my life. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to quench my life. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to quench my life. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, powers assigned to tear my garment of glory. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to tear my garment of glory. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to tear my garment of glory. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to tear my garment of glory. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to tear my garment of glory. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to tear my garment of glory. 
Die in the name of Jesus. Powers are sent to tear my garment of glory. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers are sent to tear my garment of glory. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers are sent to tear my garment of glory. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. So ancient battles are sent to pull me down. Die in the name of Jesus. Ancient battles are sent to pull me down. Die in the name of Jesus. Ancient battles are sent to pull me down. Die in the name of Jesus. Ancient battles are sent to pull me down. Die in the name of Jesus. Ancient battles are sent to pull me down. Die in the name of Jesus. Ancient battles are sent to pull me down. Die in the name of Jesus. Ancient battles are sent to pull me down. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lose your temper as you pray this next one. Every power assigned to pursue me unto death dies suddenly in the name of Jesus. Every power assigned to pursue me unto death dies suddenly in the name of Jesus. Every power assigned to pursue me unto death dies suddenly in the name of Jesus. Every power assigned to pursue me unto death dies suddenly in the name of Jesus. Every power assigned to pursue me unto death dies suddenly in the name of Jesus. Every power assigned to pursue me unto death, die suddenly in the name of Jesus. Every power assigned to pursue me unto death, die suddenly in the name of Jesus. Every power assigned to pursue me unto death, die suddenly in the name of Jesus. Every power assigned to pursue me unto death, die suddenly in the name of Jesus. Die suddenly in the name of Jesus. Die suddenly in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. A sevenfold amen. 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 Amen, 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 amen. Father, I commit your children unto your holy hands who have joined this particular broadcast. Makapo rakate setende ke yabo shandiraba. Naribo soponde ketende kenda. Any agent of darkness dwelling in the life of anyone, I bind you and I cast you out in the name of Jesus. I break every curse of infirmity. I break every covenant of infirmity. I bind and cast out uh, the property of the strong man in the life of anyone in this broadcast. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, receive your healing. Receive your deliverance. Receive your breakthrough. Receive your healing. Receive your deliverance. Receive your breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, I decree that any power planning to stop your progress uh, shall fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Uh, and any power pushing you to be disgraced eh, shall die speedily in the name of Jesus. All the hard battles eh, that have been fighting, that is a plan to make your destiny a sorrow to your generation. I command those hard battles eh, to become victory for you in the name of Jesus. Eh, all the satanic lions eh, assigned against you by the enemy shall be eaten by their own lions. They shall be eaten by their own lions. They shall be eaten by their own lions. In the name of Jesus, eh, every power Assigned to stop your reign of progress. I stop them now. I stop them now. I stop them now. By the power and the blood of Jesus. I stop them in the name of Jesus. All the battles that are attached to your glory. That has been troubling your destiny. I command those battles to, to become testimonies for you. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every dark river flowing in your family that is flowing across to you, I stop that flow now. In the name of Jesus, I stop that flow now. In the name of Jesus, I stop that flow now. In the name of Jesus, I stop that flow now. In the name of Jesus, Makapota Raise up your right hand to the heavenly list now. Raise it up to the heavenlies. Father, these hands that are raised up, let them become the hands of healing. Let them become the hands of deliverance. Let them become the hands of breakthrough. Your word says we shall lay our hands on the sick and they shall recover. Let this hand uh, carry the fire of God. Let it carry the healing power of God. Let it carry the healing anointing of Jehovah. Let it kill every infirmity. Let it kill every sickness. Let it kill every oppression. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let it kill every satanic stronghold. Let it kill all the plan of the wicked elders. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost fire, 
Enter into this hands. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Enter into this hands. Holy Ghost fire. Enter into this hands. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Enter into this hands. Holy Ghost fire. Enter into this hands. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Enter into this hands. Holy Ghost fire. Enter into this hands. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Enter into the hands. Get yourself ready now. Makapo lakaya boshanda. Ribo soponde keya bosa. Start from the head there. When I count seven from here, smite the head, smite it aggressively. Yes, every plantation of darkness in the head, in the body, in the whole of your personality shall jump out instantly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do the head again, the head again. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Now go to the chest area. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now go to your stomach. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now go to any area where you have any infirmity in your body and smite it hard, shouting, go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Shouting, go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. As you smite it 21 times. Let's go. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Thank you, 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 Jesus. Now begin to exercise your body. Do whatever thing you could not do before. If you cannot run, begin to run. If you cannot walk, begin to walk. If you cannot see, begin to see. If you cannot hear, begin to hear. The power of God is coming upon you. And it's going from the top of your head to the sole of your feet. It's going from the top of your head to the sole of your feet. That is the power of God. 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 It's thrown upon you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Makatendale kayabo shandarabo. Ribo soponde ketende raba. I decree upon your life, eh, you that you are listening to me, that every demonic presence in your body is not permitted to continue. Receive your deliverance. 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 Receive your breakthrough. Receive your deliverance. Receive your breakthrough. Receive your deliverance. Receive your breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. As I mentioned these arrows, you will shout, go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. In the name of Jesus. You shout it three times on every arrow. And make sure that your voice is the loudest where you are. Arrows of disfavor, go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Arrows of failure, go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Arrows of bad health, go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Arrows of joblessness. Go back to your senders, go back to your senders, go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Arrows of untimely death, go back to your senders, go back to your senders, go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Arrows of vagabond life, go back to your senders, go back to your senders, go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Arrows of suicidal tendencies, go back to your senders, go back to your senders, go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Arrows of addictions, go back to your senders, go back to your senders, go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Arrows of gynecological problems, go back to your senders, go back to your senders, go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. 
A lot of chain problems. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. A lot of confusion. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. A lot of being disgraced out of breakthrough. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. A lot of infirmities. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. A lot of demotion. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. A lot of hardship. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. A lot of frustration. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. A lot of dream oppressions. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. A lot of strange accidents. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. A lot of the mark of hatred. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. A lot of constant spiritual attack. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. A lot of paralysis. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. A lot of sadness. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. A lot of attack on children. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. A lot of business failure. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. A lot of tragedy. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. A lot of spiritual blindness. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. A lot of stagnancy. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. A lot of devourers. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. A lot of satanic delay. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. A lot of buried talents and virtues. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. A lot of evil diversion. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. A lot of bewitchment. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. A lot of dead organs. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. A several fold. Amen. 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 Father, I'm praying for your children who have joined this great physician hour. Let your healing power flow into the body, soul, and spirit. In the name of Jesus, the testimonies, the miracles I receive today shall be permanent in your life. And affliction will never rise again in your life in the name of Jesus. You will go from strength to strength and from glory to glory. The Almighty will continue to bombard your life with miracles, signs, and wonders. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Lord will perfect everything that concerns you by the power in the blood of Jesus. The Lord will perfect everything that concerns you by the power in the blood of Jesus. The Lord will perfect everything that concerns you by the power in the blood of Jesus. The Lord will perfect everything that concerns you by the power in the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for the mightiness of the name of the Lord. Father, we thank you because you want us to be revived. You want your power in our lives. Father, I'm praying right now that as many as I join to this program, that your power will fall upon them mightily in the name of Jesus. That will revive them, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. That fresh fire of your power will burn in our body, soul, and spirit in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Tonight, we're looking at a secret. And we're going to be looking at what I call alone with God. Alone with God. In Genesis chapter 32. Genesis 32 from verse 22. Genesis 32 from verse 22. This is the story of Jacob. And he rose up that night and took his two wives and his two women servants and his eleven sons and passed over the fort Jabbok. And he took them and sent them over the book and sent over that he had. 
and Jacob was left alone. And Jacob was left alone. And there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the oil of his side, and the oil of Jacob's side was out of joint as he wrestled with him. And he said, Let me go for the day break it. And he said, I will not let thee go except thou bless me. And he said unto him, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince, as thou power with God and with men, and hast prevailed. All this happened when Jacob was alone. In Isaiah chapter 30, Isaiah chapter 30 verse 15, we see a very powerful scripture. Isaiah 30 15, it says this, For thus said the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, In returning and rest shall he be saved. In quietness and confidence shall be your strength. In quietness and confidence shall be your strength, and you will not. Now in Mark chapter 1, verse 35. Mark 1, 35. And in the morning, rising up a great while before day, this is Jesus, he went out and departed into a solitary place, and there prayed. And in same Mark chapter 4, verse 34, Mark 4, 34, says this, Mark chapter 4, verse 34. But without a parable, spake he not unto them. And when they were alone, he expanded all things to his disciples. When they were alone, he expanded all things to his disciples. Listen very carefully, beloved. The secret of strength lies in quietness. Being quiet. And quietness, beloved, is greatly praised in the Bible. How many biblical references praising quietness? Quietness and confidence shall be a strength. Noise does not indicate strength. It has been well said that the empty barrels make the loudest noise. In life, if you look at it very well, it is those quiet forces, those quiet forces that have the greatest effect. Look at the forces of light. It's quiet. Look at the forces of gravitation. It's quiet. Those forces are all silent, yet they touch our lives. If we want to be strong, we must learn to be quiet. If we want to be strong, we must learn to be quiet. One reason for our shallowness in spirit is the lack of quiet time. Being busy is just an excuse. There is always a time to be quiet. No believer will grow if he doesn't observe quiet time. Some have converted the quiet time to an emergency quiet time or once in a blue moon quiet time, or when I have a bad dream quiet time, or when I'm not feeling okay quiet time, but quiet time should be a regular part of our life. We've read Genesis 32, we've read Mark chapter 4, Mark chapter 1, and I want you to understand this very well. There is something called solitude. Solitude is being alone by choice. There is power in strategic loneliness. The greatest men, and listen to this hard truth, the greatest men who have made impacts have been lonely. Lonely. Enoch walked with God, and he was not. God took him. He was only walking with God. When you learn to get rid of the noise and nonsense of this world out of your spirit, you begin to climb another spiritual heart. Loneliness is one big price men with high voltage vision must pay. Many of us dread being alone. Many of us don't like to go on retreat, isolate ourselves. Some would rather be dead than being alone. 
Being alone with God, beloved, as therapeutic, renewing, re-energizing, and strengthening power. Re-energizing, renewing power. But somehow, we allow the enemy to seal our time. Let's look at Jacob a little bit. Jacob was in a mess. He had to run to God. Jacob has spent his life wrestling with people. He wrestled with Esau. He wrestled with Isaac. He wrestled with Laban. He wrestled with his wives. So now God came to him now as a wrestler. It is when we are alone with God that is able to mold us into something that he can use. Let me say that again. It is when we are alone with God, he's able to mold us into something that he can use. There are some things that men will never learn from heaven when others are around. There are some things that men will never learn from heaven while others are surrounding them. One main reason for our spiritual failure today is activity that are not preceded by aloneness or inactivity. You just rush into activity. By this I mean activities that are not preceded with getting along with God, waiting in silence and quietness so that God can charge our spirit man, God can tell our spirit man what to do, so that the voice of God can speak unto us. I mean waiting for that divine life. To move down from the throne of God into our soul. We don't do that. At this, we become a divinely tuned guitar by God. A divinely tuned musical instrument by God. We get to a stage when we have our battery charged from heaven. Even a little silence in our noisy, busy lives can bring greater clarity and sharper vision. Time alone with yourself and alone with your God will transport you into another realm. In quietness and confidence shall be your strength. Without great solitude, no serious work is possible. In solitude, the mind gains strength. It is true that conversation enriches the understanding. But solitude is the school of the genius. Solitude is the audience chamber of God. The audience chamber of God. In quietness and confidence shall be your strength. True silence is resting your mind. Silence is to the spirit what sleep is to the body. Silence is to the spirit what sleep is to the body. That is, silence nourishes and refreshes the spirit. It is only in quiet waters that things mirror themselves undistorted. And the water is turbulent and is so so noisy and so troubled, you cannot mirror yourself there. If you mirror yourself on the troubled water, your image will be distorted. So solitude, beloved, is the price of greatness. Solitude in which you are alone with God will make you the greatest of the great. True solitude means being alone with God. Without that solitude, you will never encounter your angel of promotion. Enoch walked with God and was not. For God took him. Enoch was a lonely man. Noah too was a lonely man. Noah too in his days was a lonely man. As far as we know, not one word did God ever speak to Abraham in the company of other men. Moses was also a man who practiced being alone. All powerful ancient prophets but in common and enforced loneliness. You cannot carry your cross in the company. Every man must carry his or her own cross. 
The loneliness of the Christian results from his work with God in this ungodly world. The true spiritual man, beloved, is actually a very strange man. The Bible calls us peculiar creatures. The true spiritual man does not live for himself, but to promote the interests of others. He delights not to be worshipped, but to see the Savior glorified. He delights not to be honored, but to see the Savior glorified. So spending time alone with God can help us to listen to our innermost voice that speaks, but many people don't take care to listen to what their innermost voices are saying. Certain tasks and thought processes are best carried out when no one is around. So solitude, although it's one of the most difficult spiritual disciplines, but it empowers us to see clearly true things in a godly perspective. That's why introverts are more likely to cave into solitary tones and get information that extroverts will not get. Beloved, the blunt truth is this. In quietness and confidence shall be your strength. Solitude results in, number one, more productivity. Number two, time conservation. Number three, divine energy. Number four, deep spiritual knowledge. Number five, spiritual clarity. Number six, divine redirections. Number seven, divine enablement. Solitude results in, number one, more productivity. Two, time conservation. Three, divine energy. Four, deep spiritual knowledge. Five, spiritual clarity. Six, divine redirections. And seven, divine enablement. In quietness and confidence shall be your strength. In quietness and confidence shall be your strength. You must practice strategic loneliness. I'm not saying you should run away from people. I'm not saying you should avoid your family. I'm not saying you should use it as an excuse not to talk to people. I'm talking about strategic loneliness. Loneliness that you plan out, being alone with God that you plan out by yourself. A spiritual retreat. Solitude is the absence of distractions. When you are really ready, there are strategies for this. Let me go into the strategies. Solitude is really absence of distractions of life, absence of people, computers, televisions, phones, radio, newspapers, games, music, tablets, and so on and so forth. Solitude can be getting away from everybody just for a while. It's not permanent, it's just for a while. Solitude can be locking yourself in your room for a few minutes in peaceful quiet. It doesn't have to be one day, two days, three days, four days. It could be 10 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour, one hour, two hours. You just stay quietly in your room. Solitude may be a few minutes just to be alone with God. Solitude may be getting to work earlier than everybody. Bow down your head to be in quiet presence of the Lord. Solitude may be a few minutes before we get out of bed in the morning. Solitude may be going to a peaceful corner during a break in your place of work. It is a great advantage to be alone with God. The Bible says, in quietness and confidence shall be your strength. In quietness and confidence shall be your strength. Can you say that three times? In quietness and confidence shall be your strength. In quietness and confidence shall be your strength. In quietness and confidence shall be your strength. It could be for a few minutes on walking to your bus stop or walking to other places. You switch off your music, switch off your phone. You can budget for the five minutes a day to be alone with God. It is a lamentable tragedy that we have joined ourselves to the same world we are set to protest against. We are set to protest against this world. We have joined the world 
and it's a very sad thing. So our generation is a very, very noisy generation. We're not deep because of lack of quietness in the spirit to learn from God. In quietness and confidence shall be your strength. This situation on ground now is granted a lot of people opportunity to be alone with God. Don't waste that opportunity. Start practicing the presence of God. Start practicing being alone with God. I have questions for you. Have you ever heard the Lord's still small voice? The still small voice of the Lord? Do you have a noisy inner man? Or is your heart a zoo of animals making strange noises? When last were you quiet for 30 minutes? You were quiet, sat in a place, meditating on the things of God for half an hour. Are you able to just sit down without the noise of radio, TV, or internet? Does silence bother you? If silence bother you, you do have work to do. Is there a satanic party always going on inside of you? Do you have trouble meditating? Are your emotions orderly or disorderly? When last were you in a place so quiet you could hear a pin drop? When last? In quietness and confidence shall be your strength. All the noises in the heart, all the noises in the environment, all the distractions have ended up producing powerless Christians. Quietness is the calm in the soul. Psalm 131, verse 1 to 3. Quietness is listening to God. Proverbs 133. Quietness is waiting on God. Lamentations 3, 25 to 30. Quietness is the opposite of some. Mark 4, 39. Quietness is an orderly life. 1 Thessalonians 4, 9 to 12. Quietness is a treasure of great value. It is incorruptible and an adornment to the hidden man of the heart. If you are not getting anything from what I'm saying now, get it to your spirit that you need to practice quietness, strategic loneliness. So quietness is to be desired. Quietness is precious and beautiful to God. First Peter 3, 3 to 4. So when we say somebody has a quiet spirit, to have a quiet spirit means that you have order and control over your emotions, order and control over your spirit, order and control over your thoughts. And listen to this very well, beloved. God comes to us in our quiet moments to speak and to teach. God comes to us in our quiet moments to speak and to teach. The quietness of the inside will translate to a peaceful existence on the outside. Once the inside is quiet, it translates to a peaceful existence on the outside. The quietness of that inside will defend you against temptation. He who has learned to be quiet spares himself oftentimes from shame. Keeping quiet will help those who always betray their ignorance and reveal their true character. Keeping quiet will help them. Somebody has said, you cannot misquote silence. You cannot misquote silence. And I remember when I was working on my PhD in the United Kingdom, one saying, one thing they were emphasizing to us is this. They say, the more words that are spoken, the more words are available to be questioned. So let your words be few. The more words that are spoken, the more words are available to be questioned. Therefore, let your words be few. We should cultivate strategic quietness to enable us meet God in the altar of prayer. Many words who are spoken against others, words that should never have been said. Many speak without thinking of the effects of those words. They speak words which pierce hearts, break relationship, inflict injuries which can never be repaired. So sometimes you need to cultivate strategic quietness towards what you say to others. We may sometimes pity the dumb, 
The fact is that dumbness is better than bitter, angry, abusive, or sharp cutting words. Speech is silver, somebody has said, but silence is gold. The Bible says, be still and know that I am God. That is, don't be agitated. Do you know, beloved, I'm telling you a fact, that there are two things you could do that would change your life totally. Do you know that meditating 15 minutes a day will change your life? Just 15 minutes a day of meditation. So this book of law shall not depart out of your mouth, but you shall meditate there in day and night. That meditation alone can change your life completely. Do you also know that if you speak in tongues, you pray in tongues one hour every day, you do it consistently for two months, every day, one hour, by the end of two months, you will have become another man, another woman. Those two things can change your life. Meditation, for at least 15 minutes a day, speaking in tongues. Quietness of the spirit is strength of the spirit. Quietness of the spirit is something that can be learned. We can learn it. Psalm 131 verse 2. Quietness of the spirit. Psalm 131 verse 2. Has this to say. Surely I have behaved and quieted myself. Even as a winged child. We can learn it. It's something that can be learned. Quietness of the spirit. And I tell you, it will be a great benefit to you. The Bible says, study to be quiet. The Lord blesses an atmosphere of quiet calmness. People who devote time to being alone with God always have fresh reservoir of personal strength and quiet confidence. Beloved, know this and know this well. God speaks loudly in the stillness of our spirits. We need to quiet ourselves so that we can hear him clearly. We need to quiet the world around us. Many are just too busy and our words are just too loud. Quietness is not soft and easy. Quietness is strength. Only the really strong person can be quiet. Only the quiet person can really, really be strong. I pray that the Lord will minister life unto you in the name of Jesus. Whenever you feel that you have so much to do, and you can't possibly get everything done, and it's time to stop, take a break. It's time for a pause. All of us need to learn the art of quietness. It is an art which takes practice and skill. We need to practice the art of quietness, the art of doing nothing, just being alone with God. The still small voice of God cannot be detected over the clamor of our noisy woman mind, over the clamor of our noisy woman life. You get out in the morning, you get into the noisy traffic. You get into your office, you get into the noisy staff. You close from work, you get into the noisy environment. You jump out from your car, you jump to the noisy television. And so there is so much noise all over the place. So the very first thing necessary for a person who wants to be great in the Lord is to quieten the mind. When we say to our busy mind, it becomes receptive to the inner presence of God. So your progress depends on your ability to meditate. Thou shalt meditate on it day and night. Then you make your way prosperous. By that you shall have good success through the key of meditation. We will grow more spiritually, beloved, if we were more alone and accomplish more if we attempted less, if we practice strategic loneliness. Let us seek to redeem our time by adjusting some of our unnecessary habits of daily life to that of meditation and waiting upon God. Jacob was alone when the angel wrestled with him all night. There was nobody around. Moses was alone in the back side of that desert when an angel of God appeared to him. In every life, there must be a pause so that a better thing can come. The strenuousness of our life today with the increasing distraction demands that deep Christian must seek a zone of quiet and silence and practice being alone with God. Beloved, you have heard this teaching. Put it into practice. Begin from today. Set time apart. Observe spiritual retreat. Be quiet your mind. In quietness and confidence shall be your strength. In quietness and confidence shall be your strength. In quietness and confidence shall be your strength. I want to encourage you 
Don't be alarmed at anything that is going on around you. Don't be alarmed at what the enemy is trying to broadcast. Don't be alarmed at any scary thing anybody is saying. Know for sure you have a God who knows all things, who can do all things. Know for sure that there is a power that is above all powers. Know for sure there is a God whose word is the overruling word. Make it your practice. Go to quiet places. Take your Bible. Take a verse. Take verses. Take chapters. Meditate. Pray. Pray in the spirit. Pray in your understanding. Make it a regular habit. Be quiet before the Lord so that you can hear the still small voice of the Holy Spirit. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 It is time to pray now. Let your voice be the loudest where you are and get yourself ready to have an encounter with heaven. Can you shout this loud and clear? Any ancient battle assigned to pull me down, die in the name of Jesus. Any ancient battle assigned to pull me down, die in the name of Jesus. Any ancient battle assigned to pull me down, die in the name of Jesus. Any ancient battle assigned to pull me down, die in the name of Jesus. Any ancient battle assigned to pull me down, die in the name of Jesus. Any ancient battle assigned to pull me down, die in the name of Jesus. Any ancient battle assigned to pull me down, die in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Agents of darkness. My life is not your candidate. Clear the way in the name of Jesus. Agents of darkness. My life is not your candidate. Clear away in the name of Jesus. Agents of darkness. My life is not your candidate. Clear away in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My mockers, you are liars. I shall not be disgraced. In the name of Jesus. My mockers, you are liars. I shall not be disgraced. In the name of Jesus. My mockers, you are liars. I shall not be disgraced. In the name of Jesus. My mockers, you are liars. I shall not be disgraced. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The battle of you shall not be congratulated. Be scattered in the name of Jesus. The battle of you shall not be congratulated. Be scattered in the name of Jesus. The battle of you shall not be congratulated. Be scattered in the name of Jesus. The battle of you shall not be congratulated. Be scattered in the name of Jesus. The battle of you shall not be congratulated. Be scattered in the name of Jesus. The battle of you shall not be congratulated. Be scattered in the name of Jesus. The battle of you shall not be congratulated. Be scattered in the name of Jesus. Be scattered in the name of Jesus. Be scattered in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So every battle assigned to waste my time and years. Die in the name of Jesus. Every battle assigned to waste my time and years. Die in the name of Jesus. Every battle assigned to waste my time and years. Die in the name of Jesus. Every battle assigned to waste my time and years. Die in the name of Jesus. Every battle assigned to waste my time and years. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.